Always interesting at this stage to see these friendly games. Maybe a bit of experimentation. That's what we've got for you today. I'm Martin Tyler, along with Alan Smith, to call the action for you. It is a brilliant, brilliant fixture. It's always been that way. Other factors as well as football involved in the rivalry here, Barcelona and Real Madrid. Well, what an atmosphere inside the stadium and what a match we should have. Star-studded lineups here in front of us. This is the Real Madrid lineup. Sergio Ramos plays with Pepe in central defence. Luka Modric starts with Tony Kroos in the centre of the park. Karim Benzema is the lone striker today. Barcelona's lineup here. Marc Andre Testegen starts in goal. Jeremy Mathieu starts with Jared Piquet in central defence. Iniesta plays with Sergio Busquets in central midfield. Luis Suarez is the lone striker today. Barcelona have shown, haven't they, that there has been life after Pep Guardiola, who had such a wonderful spell in charge, really rectified a lot of wrongs. Yeah, I think he. He set the standards, didn't he, in terms of discipline as much as anything else. He's a hard taskmaster, and uh, whoever followed him followed in those footsteps. So uh, the club owe him an awful lot. Sergio Ramos. He's given it and got it back again. Luis Suarez. Successful tackle. Gareth Bale. Rodriguez. It's going to be a real target for victory for Real Madrid here. And if they don't get complacent, they should be able to achieve their goals. Neymar. Nicely uh, done to keep on his feet and not just go to ground and hope he might get a free kick. And the attacking now coming from Barcelona. On to Ronaldo. Oh, I love the tackle. He's <laughs> gone for a throw. He could have been a bit luckier there. Modric. Karim Benzema. Tony Kroos. Gareth Bale. He's lost the ball here. Suarez. And shoots! Wonderful save. Had to really reach out for that. Corner, Barcelona. Goes for it with a fist. Benzema. Under threat here, but he keeps the ball. Here come Real Madrid. Shot. Take the chance with the shot there. Yeah, thought he might have done better there. Had a bit of time and space. Good position. That's an easy interception because the pass wasn't really a very thoughtful one. They're grateful for that to have an intervention like that and get back on the ball when they're defending so much. the cross well it was considered controlled attacking play but it's come to nothing in the end and now they've got to think about defending against the opposition good jump the header just off target and he's gone for that corner and only just missed it got on the ball in midfield well read by the player in that part of the pitch by Ronaldo. Comes out with a punch to clear the danger. Here's the cross. 
Neymar, and it's in, and it's a goal for Barcelona. A goal from Neymar, and what a cool finish it was too. The way he's placed it to the keeper's right, he saw the gap and dispatched it first time. Barcelona are ahead. Nice bit of interplay between these two. Rodriguez. Gareth Bale. And it, oh, the bar's still shaking. The referee's decision is a corner for Real Madrid. Need to clear it here. The shot's on! Well, they've got a corner out of that. A bit lucky, it was deflected. Ivan Rakitic. And that's a goal for Barcelona. Restarting at 2-0. Chelsea has gone up for two minutes. Lionel Messi. Modric. Referee has blown, and the second half is now in progress. Rodriguez. He's got his shot off now. Lionel Messi. Your view, Alan, on Luis Suarez in that first half? I would be happy with that first 45 minutes. It was a good goal from him. Goes for goal! Right down the slot for the goalkeeper. Midfield, they've got it back via an interception. Towards Rodriguez. Alan. No, you didn't. I mean, he's a cool head and he's one that he never likes to smash the ball. He loves to just stroke it home and he did it yet again. I have to say, it's so one-sided today, but all credit to the team that are racking up the goals. Gareth Bale. Modric. And now the shot! A shot making the goalkeeper's job pretty routine. Really strong tackle, and the ball's gone out for a throw. They've got the ball rolling again straight away. And he's moved in, trying to jostle the opponent off his stride. Tony Cross. Piquet. There is some backup for him in this position. Well, they look promising there in that wide area, but the defender's done well. Iniesta. Lionel Messi. Well, that's straight at the goalkeeper. Easy for him to hang on. I did think that this would be one of the tightest games we've seen, Alan, but it's extraordinary, it's gone the other way. Yeah, it has. It has. I think everybody in the stadium is quite surprised by that because the one side has been knocking the ball about nice and crisply, the other one's been chasing it and looked flat, lethargic. 
Lionel Messi. He's cut out that pass. It wasn't an accident. He read the mind of the opponent. Very much in free kick territory. This foul. And the goalkeeper's won it. Got right behind the free kick. Able to make a good interception. Well, you can't praise Barcelona too highly for this. This was a tight game when you looked at it before it started. It's not been tight on the pitch. They've been relentless in their performance, and they're thoroughly deserving their big lead. Not often you get at this level a game as one-sided as this. It's great for the team with all the goals, but the others just waiting for the final whistle. It's... Uh, Damage limitation in these closing minutes. PK. Neymar. And he goes for the chip, and it's in the net, and it's Barcelona who scored. Well, scoring in any game is worthy of celebration. When you get two, it is special. And he is feeling that special delight at the moment. And that is the end of the match. 4-0, the emphatic final score. I don't think they'll be playing this fixture as a friendly again because of what's happened. But it's been engrossing to watch it. Well, it has, and I think both sets of managers will have got something out of it, which is always handy for this kind of match. Alan, what did you make of...